welcome to the new format podcast with me, Charlie, and the Lego Batman to my Lego Robin, Michael. Hi there. Sorry about that. that was That was a really short notice. Intro. Especially if you, you uh, very much scrubs, you described me yeah. as the, the Batman to your Robin. And and you know what? We've, we've also already had this conversation on a previous episode. We have, right? where you've done the, the exact Batman same thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. That's why I was just like, I've been, because I've been wanting, well, just so you know, we're, we're, this one's a no format one in regard about Lego. Um, but I've been want, I've been trying to think of a Lego one. I had, I, I know, well, I say that, I'd, for the past 20 minutes been trying to think of one <laughs> that's but, why it was very still in the last episode too. yeah <laughs> but now i was like trying to think of i don't know and i was going to use the emmet to my everything is awesome you know from the lego movie oh, but then no. it didn't really make any sense and it no. was like lego brick to lego brick separator so i just yeah I it. can we just talk very quickly before we get into actual lego how amazing the lego movie actually was yeah i did it i remember watching it thinking yeah i think this is more like a film for kids but yeah yeah, I did really enjoy it. I've not watched like the Lego, the Lego spin-off, Lego Batman. Lego Batman is absolutely amazing. It's oh, one is of it? the best Batman films out there. Oh, is it? Genuinely, it's so funny. Oh, okay. Um, it's got the same, is it Will Arnett? Yeah, Will plays... Arnett plays Batman. Yeah. Uh, um, Michael Sarah plays Robin and Zach Galanafikas plays the Joker. Oh, really? Oh, I might give it a watch. I mean, I did find like, as Batman, he was really funny in it. Like, yeah. In the Lego thing. But yeah, no, the Lego film is, it was, yeah, it was, it was at the end. Well, again, we'll, we'll do a spoiler alert if anyone's not watched it. But they sort of like how they sort of tied it in with Will Farrell's character actually. Yeah, being the I dad. thought it was really clever the ending. I didn't yeah. see that ending happening at all. No, 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 I didn't think it would go into like the real world. I no. suppose kind of thing. And it, um, it's made, all made sense. Like once you knew that, because yeah. like for example, like every time you hear the guns, they just go pew 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 yeah. pew. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like there's no actual sound effects. You're actually hearing yeah. the people playing. Yeah, it was just sort of Lego. Yeah, which yeah, actually, no. Now you think about it, it's it's um playing with it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's oh, right, it's yeah. really clever. I think. You know what's even funnier? What? Um, the Simpsons did a Lego episode. Oh, okay. And they didn't know the plot of the Lego movie. Yeah. And it was basically exactly the same thing. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, they were playing that. with Lego. Oh, okay. Yeah. And they're all like, oh, okay, because <laughs> they had some big names in that. I mean, you had Liam Neeson was in it. Yeah, Liam Chris Neeson Pratt, was that. Yeah. Will Farrell. Elizabeth Banks. Yeah. Um, Alison Brie, Charlie yeah. Day, quite a few. Uh, Morgan Freeman, Morgan Freeman, oh, isn't it? Of course, yeah. yeah. He is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah and it is an insane cast. But the second one, I, I I attempted to watch and gave up halfway through. I've not. I've I didn't even seen say halfway one. through. I gave up very quickly. Is is it still like? Yeah, it's still Chris Pratt. And everything. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, but yeah. So okay. as Charlie's said, we are talking about Lego, not the yeah. Lego movie per se, because no, even no. though that is part of the Lego yeah, brand, yeah. So yeah, we're yeah, happy to talk about Lego, that. Yeah. No, the reason I picked Lego is, um, so for Christmas, I got a Lego Formula One McLaren yeah, car. Yeah, which I think you mentioned on the podcast a few weeks ago. I did, yeah. So I've now finished it. Very nice. Um, but yeah, I reckon I must have put maybe 10 hours or so into that. That's a lot of time. It is. But it's like, like Lauren says, it keeps me quiet. <laughs> so um, yeah, there's only one bit that the seat, that I can't find a certain piece for, so oh no, it's annoying. I think you can order them though. Can you? If you go on the website, it's like cause it's like one or two pieces missing. You can so they give you the numbers of what they are in don't the they? back of the book. The only thing is, I don't know what the piece is. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize it until part of the way through. So the seat sort of it's the, the obviously the seat in the car. Lego it, experts, listen. If you've yeah. got any idea, help us. Yeah, if you know what this piece is, and it's the piece that attaches the top part of the Lego piece of the of the top part of the Lego seat, so it's secure into place. I mean, I mean, if you're not moving it or anything, it just stays where it is, so yeah. looking at it, which is what it's going to be. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I've got that, and then the previous year, Lauren had bought me the Saturn V Space Rocket. Oh, yeah. Which yeah. I've sort of put up in the kitchen now, which, yeah. But no, I'd, I'd love it. I mean, I love, I love doing it. I mean, it's one of them things that once you've built it, it's like, well... I still get enjoyment out of looking at it, but the most fun about it is building it. It, as it can be very frustrating as well. You find it really fun building. Yeah, at, yeah. at times. Like, there are times. No, I'm just thinking I've got a hammer in the garage if you want me to go around. And... <laughs> we, <laughs> you we can do go it. again. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what, that's what somebody at work said. Like, what? Well, we can just take it apart and rebuild it, but it comes in bags. So I think this one came in, it, like, it had, like, well, I say bags. Well, no, it didn't come in bags, but it had like bag one, which was like a big bag, then two smaller ones for the little bits, then bag two. So I think then trying you to find them out a bit of time to you too. Yeah, to build build different parts. So um, I mean, this one I had to do the transfers as well, which that's of the stickers and things on the side. So that was a bit. Um, yeah, I didn't enjoy that as much because getting it lined up and then you put it on wrong, you have to try and 
peel it off. off yeah. Um, but no, I'm, I'm satisfied. This is definitely the most, well, I think the most difficult one out of the two I've done. It's been the most difficult one. Oh, so. yeah, you can tell. Yeah. But, um, but now, if I and I up my, uh, my next one, I, I mean, I'd love the Lego Titanic, but can I justify spending £500? It doesn't, doesn't matter whether that one breaks, though. Well, no, that is true. <laughs> Especially to be more accurate if it breaks into two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, then there's, the, there's actually the Lego Tumblr. The, uh, Lego oh, Batman. yeah, from Batman. Uh, yeah. And I've just ordered myself, it only cost me 15 quid. It's a sort of a small one of the uh, Aston, James Bond, Aston Martin. So Very nice. Yeah, it's not obviously not a full size one because it only cost me 15 quid. But I'll be yeah. like, I love Lego. Mm-hmm. I have got a bit of Lego in my um, garage, like just small little. Like, I've got a yeah. small Tumblr. Like, I'm using my hand as a size of it. Like, it's um, not very big. Oh, okay. Um, but my issue with Lego is just how expensive it is. Yeah, definitely. So pricey. It is really expensive. Like, we, we went down... <laughs> Between Christmas and New Year in London, so we went to the went to the Lego shop, and I mean the Hogwarts Castle again, something else I'd love to have, but you're looking about three hundred and fifty yeah. quid, and I think Lauren wants like the um, Lego Bell Castle. Ah, uh, okay. And Peter and the Beast. Yeah, I'd love the um, like Star Wars stuff there, like the Millennium oh. Falcon and the um, AT and T Death Star. I mean, I think the most expensive thing what, I, what I've seen is the AT and T, which that's looking about seven hundred quid. Um, Do you know a fun fact about the Death Star one? On them. So you know, obviously, it's a big Lego kit, and it'll yeah. take hours to make. Yeah. You watch um, Spider-Man, no, not my way home. Um, the first one they've done, home, Homecoming. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, the first, first one of the new Spider-Man films. Yeah. Um, in Homecoming, uh, yeah. Ned's character, Hart, Peter Parker's friend. Oh yeah, yeah. He he's holding a Death Star. Oh, okay. And then Peter arrives in his costume yeah and then unmasks himself and then like ned sees him mm. and drops it yeah ned the well the actor um i can't remember what his name is now but um he fluffed his lines apparently eight times really doing that and they had to use a different one every time so basically they had to have eight lego death stars because he kept on fluffing his line god i mean i mean I, well i mean obviously the, the disney money like they could afford it but i suppose I mean, that'd be a fun job, just, just building, building the Legos. Legos. Yeah, just, right, right, here's one Lego. But then I suppose after a while, if you were building the same thing, it'd get a bit repetitive. But no, that's yeah. interesting. Because, I mean, that would take hours and hours and hours yeah. and hours. So I don't know whether they had loads on standby just in case. Yeah, but... I can imagine. I mean, well, obviously, apart from that somebody has this Spider-Man and it's a Marvel Universe to make it unrealistic, but what sort of college kid would be able to... I mean, not the Lego Death Star... That's a fair point, yeah. Uh, you probably, I mean, if that AT and T's eight hundred, it's going to be that or more. Yeah. So, say in America, what a thousand dollars? What you know? what I mean, what sort of? There you go, Alexa. How much is the Death Star Lego kit? Eight hundred and ninety nine pounds and ninety nine. Eight hundred ninety nine pounds and ninety nine pence. So that is the most expensive thing, then. <laughs> See, I, the one when I've seen it, I've I've not been massively impressed with it. From, I don't know, it just seems a bit... I mean, obviously, you can't have the real... Just a big style, circle. Yeah, yeah, just a big circle. <laughs> but like, I like the Imperial Cruisers. And, I mean, I follow a, a group on Facebook where people like sort of think to all the custom-made Lego things and like Lego Black Battlestar Galactica or Concord or, um, yeah, that like, sort of old-fashioned sailing ships. I mean, some of the stuff that people do, like that just create itself, it's amazing. I can't remember what each of them are now, but for each of my best men, my wedding, I've got my little um, custom-made Lego figure, figurine. I saw that down at the Lego thing in um, in London. I, no, I, I so I did it. It wasn't of them. I did them of um. So when I like sort of recruited them, I can't remember exactly what I did for everyone. Mm. But like, um, I think like my brother was Superman to me, Batman. Uh, okay, um, that's what you mean. One of my friends had the Green Lantern, and yeah. one of them, I think he had a Star Wars related one uh, because okay. he's not as into DC. Yeah, yeah. And then I got him like little figurines of each of these that had been uh, hand painted. Okay. Like those little key rings, I think. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, okay, that's yeah. quite a nice kind of idea. Yeah, yeah no, when I was at the Lego show, you could do like one where you got your face yeah, scanned and scanned and stuff on it. But um, when I went to the Lego store, um, it was with um, a few of my mates, and we'd gone to see a recording of QI. Uh, okay. And because we lived in Bristol at the time, we sort of was like, well, let's spend a day in, in um, London. Yeah. We went to the Lego store, and you know, there's a little area in the spot where you can build yeah, Lego yeah, stuff, building, like just yeah. have a little play around and stuff. Yeah, I'd say it's three, no, sorry, four grown adults. Mm. I think we were late twenties, maybe yeah. some even early thirties. Um, we spent about two hours in there. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> just building stuff. <laughs> I mean, they've sort of opened up into this 
sort of entire market of adult Lego stuff. Because, mm. like, I mean, the things like that, it's, it, it's adult. It, say it's not, well, I suppose some kids could build it kind of thing, but it's, it's like you kind of continue that. It's like a little bit of your childhood that you yeah. kind of continue, isn't it? Well, I just remember having this small little, like, green board that I just built a little house on. Oh, really? Like, with just, like, loads of random Lego bits inside. Yeah. But, yeah, now there's so much you can oh. do. It is. Not they used to have a rule of like no guns or anything like that. Lego was an educational tool. Yeah. Um, but then it slowly expanded. Like with um, Star Wars, they included guns. And yeah. Like that. It's good though, isn't it? Like I mean, it's a good idea. Like it is an education. I think in some schools they have things where they do stuff with Lego and. I, get, I mentioned it. it a few weeks ago, and I know I texted you about this. Mm. But watch. Oh, um, the yeah the things about the the toys that made us yeah on netflix um because at the end they talk about what they do in schools and stuff i can't oh, remember okay. it was years ago i watched this episode yeah yeah okay. but yeah oh. should we test ourselves on a I bit of lego say, knowledge yeah um because the first question i've got here so we found a little quiz online um we can play along at home we don't know what the answers are ourselves okay. um until we actually click on it so the first question how old is lego i know it's old so are we... anywhere between 10 and 100 years uh, what we're just saying, uh, how old, what, what, how many years old we think it is? Yeah, I think it's like 90 to 100. No, nah, I don't think it's that old. I'm gonna say maybe six, 50, 50, 50 years old. Yeah, so that only takes us back to the 1970s. Okay, no, maybe 60, 60 years, 60 years. Yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm going to say 90. Okay, but I think you might even be older. Okay, <laughs> wow. What is it? It is only 50 years old. I was going to say, because the only reason I said that is... So I made you change your answer. I know, I was going to say 50. Um, no, my dad mentioned about it. He said he remembered it coming out or remembered first getting Lego because you're saying something that they only used to have, the colour red. I think it was the colour red or... There was just one colour they had and then they started changing the colours. Um, the website is definitely wrong that I'm doing this quiz on. <laughs> oh, okay. Why? <laughs> the first Lego... Lego was first made on the 10th of August, 1932, in Billund, Denmark. Yeah, I know it's Danish. Um, that sounds, just, sounds about right. Well, right. They, according to Wikipedia, the Lego group began manufacturing interlocking toy bricks in 1949. Oh, really? Mate, unless it means the, the Lego as we know came out in the 60s, but maybe they did something, I don't so know. So the Lego group began in the workshop of Ole Kirk Christensen. Mm -hmm. um, a carpenter from Billund, Denmark, he began making wooden toys in 1932. In 1934, he um, his company came up with Lego, derived from the Danish phrase "leggod," which means "play well." In 1947, Lego expanded to, to begin producing plastic toys, and then in 1949, began producing, among other new products, the early version of the now familiar interlocking brick, calling them the fun name of automatic binding bricks. No, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would have stopped automatic binding bricks. Yeah, okay. Um, so they are more than fifty years old. I don't know what that website's saying. Okay, it's fifty. So what? Nineteen forty-nine? Did I say? Yeah. Um, I can't do the maths. Seventy years old. Seventy years old. Okay. Um, right. Let's see if the next question yeah, is going to be right. Sorry, yeah. Take all this with a pinch of salt. Oh, <laughs> we know the answer now to this one. Oh, okay. What does? And again. I'm going to say that maybe I shouldn't have picked this website for the quiz because they actually put what dos Lego oh. mean in Danish. <laughs> <laughs> what does Lego mean in Danish? Le what they play. Can you remember? Play well. Play well. Yeah. I only said that because I've got a little thing up about facts on Lego. Oh, yeah. I've just seen it. What was the first thing that Lego made? I'm pretty sure. So it's, is it a wooden toy car, a little Lego brick house, a Lego brick car, a wooden duck, a stepladder, or a plastic toy car. I'm I, pretty sure it's a duck. I think it's a wooden toy car. I'm 100% certain it's a duck. It's just because when we went to the Lego store, I thought I saw, like, when there's a little thing on Lego, and I, I, just, I thought I saw, like, a, a sort of toy wooden car, but... It is a wooden duck, I was right. Oh, it was a wooden duck. Um, okay. I'll see if I can find a picture to show you. Maybe we'll put it on Twitter. Yeah. I don't know. It was wooden quite duck. boring to put on Twitter. <laughs> wooden duck. But yeah. Uh, okay. It's, yeah, it's one of the ones with, wheel, with, with wheels and a mouth that moves. Yeah. As you, as you pull it along. I remember that from the, the toys that made us. That's why I knew it. Oh, uh, okay. Lego was the first company to do bricks with studs. <laughs> Bless Excuse you. me? Uh, true or false? I'm going to say... I think it's a trick question, so I'm going to say false. I'm going to say true. You're correct. It's false. false. I don't know what the first company was. Oh, okay. It doesn't say, but... Okay. Yeah, it sounds like a bit of a trick question, that one. How tall was the tallest Lego tower ever? 
Uh, I'm going to say about 28.7 meters high. <laughs> so 28 meters. It says 32 here, but you've got a fact in front of you. <laughs> yeah, I do have a fact in front of me. <laughs> but again, this is, I mean, my facts here that I'm reading from are from the National Geographic Kids. Oh, see, mine's just some random pro prof quizzes. Yeah. So <laughs> who's well, going to be more believable? But then again, I don't know, maybe at the time. That could have it could have been the tallest. That's very true. That could be taller. Things are getting. Well, again, this this article apparently made when Lego was only fifty years old. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> so <laughs> this was done in the nineteen nineties. Then, uh, if you're a Clegg, Le- that's a boring question. I'm going to scout that, but I guess and got it right. Okay, <laughs> no, we're going to skip that. Um, how many Lego bricks are made every minute around the world? A hundred, a thousand, fourteen thousand. 26,000, 33,000, 42,000, or 50,000? 50, 50,000. I'm going to go high as well. Yeah. Oh, it's 33,000. Uh, okay. But I that's thought it was every gonna... minute. I was going to say, I thought there'd be like, I thought it'd be more than that. Yeah. To be honest. But 33 is still a hell of a lot. Yeah, yeah. No, that is a... I think there's a fact that like every person is like 80 Lego bricks. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. How many Lego bricks are made every year? Right, so to do the math. So, <laughs> <laughs> let's get my calculator. I'm going to say a billion. No, no, that's uh, 100 million. You're in, it is in the billions. Oh, it is in the billions. Yeah. Uh, 2 billion. 1 billion, 4 billion, 9 billion, 13, 16, 21, or 27. 16. Spot on. 16, 16 billion, 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 billion Lego bricks are made every year. Oh. Well, I suppose they can afford to with the amount of. Uh, one of the charge for Lego nowadays. They've clearly, whoever made this quiz got bored because they just put in a le- little random letters for the next one. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so let's go for your facts. Yeah, well, okay. I think we've covered a few of them already. Um, so, well, the Lego, the tallest Lego tower, which we said, but that was just under 500,000 uh, bricks, 465,000. So, so, so during Christmas season, almost 28 Lego sets sold each second. That's a lot. Well, it is a lot. But I suppose a Lego set can be anything, can't it? Yeah. From, like, something really miniature to, like, the Death Star, can't it? That is it? very true, yeah. Um, but, oh, we'll just that one there. On average, 80 Lego bricks for every person on Earth. Yeah, is it actually 80? Yeah, yeah. It's oh, wow. 80. So that, was good, just, that was a good memory. He d- no, 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 no. That's on the, on the thing here. No, but I said that as well. Oh, I thought that was from the quiz. No, no, no. That was ah, my fact. That okay. wasn't from the quiz. That was my fact. Oh, okay. To be fair, I think we've covered a lot of it in the... Uh, in the have you seen the... The Lego you can you can get with the like basically you can make fl- like flower centerpieces out of Lego. Oh yes, I have seen those. Yeah, they yeah. look cool. Like they do. I, I was temp- I, again something else. I mean, I could spend a fortune. I think there's always. I go on the Lego website probably every other day, and I sort of follow this um, Lego page on Facebook. And there was an interesting one somebody put the other day where they'd they'd found like going on the beach, and I'm not sure what country it was, but they'd found like a, a Lego brick, and it had it had something. It was like a white Lego brick, like a long one that was like maybe five along. And it had, oh, what did it have on it? And if it had shop or something written on it, and she'd sent it in to, you, you could email in to like the Lego, and they got back to her and told her what set it was from. Oh, really? Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Which was I've really seen these things now where you can scan your Lego using your phone. Oh, and it tells, and it tells you what you can build with it, yeah. which is quite cool. I've got loads of Lego at mum and dad's. Are. I'm going to, they're trying to Do clear it. the loft out, so I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go and get it, because, yeah, I want to have a, but well, hopefully by the time of this episode goes out, I will have got it. But otherwise, mum and dad, if they've listened to it, they'll be... Any time I go around, it's like they're giving me something. Like I've come back with an electric guitar and an amp one day and <laughs> just like random stuff. But do you think you would um, buy any Lego? Um, like for you, obviously, I know you've... I definitely will for my son at some point. Yeah. Um, there's definitely kits out there I want. Yeah. Um, if, if, uh, if you could have one kit, what would it be? Is it a Back to the Future kit? Oh, yeah, you can get the DeLorean. I'd love to get that. Yeah, that's That'd pretty be a good. good one. Yeah, because it's that. I saw that because I thought it looked quite nice. You've got the DeLorean. You've got the Ghostbusters. Oh, the car. Ecto, whatever it's called. Yeah, and then you can get the old... Well, you, I don't know if you still can now, but you can get the old-fashioned sort of retro Batmobile as well. Oh, what, Adam West one? I think, oh, no, no, I think it was oh. George Clooney one. But you well, can get I'm the... Gonna, I'm going to say that you mean... Um, I've forgotten his name now. Michael Keaton. Yeah, maybe Michael <laughs> Keaton one. George Clooney was Batman. Yeah, but there's no way they'll include Bat- no, George it's probably, Batman. <laughs> yeah, it's probably Michael Keaton Batman. I'll have to show you it and see what we see if you can recognise it. But you can actually get the Batman, the Batmobile from the the most recent Bat- Batman film. I can't think what that one looks like. It don't really look like. Um, I don't think it really looks like a Batmobile. It just kind of looks like a bit of a souped-up 
kind of old fashioned sort of sports car kind of thing. If I remember yes. rightly, I really like that Batman film, but we're not here to talk about Batman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, no, the Back to the Future one. I, I think did I send you did I send you the link to that one? I think you might have done it. I think that, I think you're looking at about 156 quid. They did actually have one built in um, the Lego store of that on display. I should have just took you a picture of it and sent to you. But you get like a little, with a lot of them now, you get a little, um, like a little, what's the word? A little sort of stand that comes, well, a stand that comes with Oh, okay, it. for the display. Yeah, like, a, well, no, like a little thing that tells you about what it is. Oh, okay. If that makes sense, it'll be like, if you've got the Batmobile. Yeah, 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 Picard. Yeah, Picard, Picard, Picard. Picard, Picard, Picard yeah, Star I think Wars. that's what, I, I was on Star Trek somehow. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the one I've got, the Saturn V rocket, you can get, I mean, People have done these like sort of display things, whether it's in like a big glass box, and it looks like the um, you can see all the fire. Like I think it's like cotton wool and the paint okay. different colours, so it looks like the rocket's taking off. That's you cool. get a light, like you get a light thing for the Formula One car as well. So you got the lights on it. Um, yeah, I mean you can buy a I saw the actual launch pad for the Saturn V rocket, which was like double the price of what the actual rocket cost. Um, but yeah, there's, you can throw silly money at it. Like, oh yeah, yeah, you can. But Public service announcement. Don't buy the Back to the Future DeLorean from um, Amazon. Why? It's an extra £100. See how strange that? It, Amazon and the Lego store, it's different prices because sometimes it's cheaper on Amazon. It's also... Like, okay, so I'm about to show you, Charlie, on the official Lego store, the DeLorean, yeah. that is priced at £169. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And I'm about to now show him the one that on the Amazon store that's listed for £249. It was like, what? Oh, I wonder if it's a uh, one of the older ones, like a classic one. Know. It looks awful, doesn't it? Yeah, it, that looks like one of the old, that looks like an older one. I bet it's because it's a collectible. Possibly. It doesn't look like it should be worth £249. It looks like the sort, sort of one you can pick up for £10 in Tesco. Yeah. <laughs> and, and things are probably when it came out, you might have been able to. It looks like, yeah, to me, that looks like a, some sort of collectible one. I did see this cool thing on Pinterest where somebody had... Um, I was looking for ideas of how to display my Lego. Yeah. And somebody had basically, so when you get the big box, they'd cut the front of the box on that's got the picture of the whatever you're making and then put it in a frame. Okay. And then just, and that obviously had the room with all the Lego and then they had all over the walls, obviously all the things they'd made in the frames. I thought that, that looked pretty cool. That's a cool one. That looked pretty cool. But I've chucked my, my Sound 5 box, but I've kept the other one because I think sometimes it can be worth. Oh, yeah, yeah. These things collectors. Exactly. So. Yeah. I know it's a slightly off topic, but I found out that um, two co- no three comics that I own. Mm. Um, one of them's two of them are worth over a hundred pounds. Really? And one of them's two hundred and fifty pounds. Oh wow! Are you thinking of selling? No, not yet. No, you're gonna wait for them to. Mm. What would you sell? What would you sell them? Like, what would be the price? You'd be like, yeah, I'm. Just selling I don't know. Um, a million. I, I see him as an investment for George, if I'm honest. No. Oh, okay. Or any other son or daughter that I potentially have as well. Are they in like protected? They're in sleeves um, with comic books. You've got to get them gra- graded. Oh, um, okay. So I can, could send them off to be graded, but I can promise you that they've not been read mm. and they've been in a protective sleeve because I do see comics as that sort of collectible item. So you buy them as a, like, an investment more yeah. than yeah. because you enjoy reading them? Mm-hmm. You I enjoy also, reading them, but... Yeah, again, that's a bit off topic to Lego, but you started... Remember you telling me that you've sort of... In sort of significant events, you've been buying the newspaper, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. For like when the Queen died and new Prime Minister and things like that. Which has cost me a bomb living really? in England this year, or the past year. Because I decided to do this without... Well, I decided, I think, when um, women, the women won um, the Euros. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, football. And um, after that, Boris Johnson went. Yeah. Then all these different Prime Ministers <laughs> came in. <laughs> yeah. And the Queen died. Yeah. <laughs> and then, obviously, yeah. King Charles came along, but... It literally has cost me an arm and a leg buying these papers. <laughs> I didn't realise how expensive they bloody are. How much? I, I mean, I can't remember the last time I bought a newspaper. Something from like two pound fifty a pop. Yeah, I thought they were like a pound or yeah. something like. Yeah, I remember the days like thirty p for the sun or something. Yeah. No, um, um, how far are we to the end of the episode, by the way? I'd probably say we're we're about there. Okay, time for admission. Oh, I was a Connect man when I was a kid. Oh, see, I like Connects. I, I like that's Connects. why I didn't really have much Lego. Uh, I had loads okay. of Connects. See, I had both. I had both. Um, I had I, lots of Lego Meccano. Like Meccano's Lego, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Oh, is it not? The, Meccano, the, that's the metal the one. metal one, you yeah. You have to like, screw things yeah. in. and um, I think that's that's a good way of preparing you for as a child for setting up IKEA furniture. <laughs> Definitely. IKEA should do the right Oh, thing. it's not. It's not. 
um, Lego. No? Um, Lego, oh, it's called Technica or something. Yes, like that. that's so the, there you go. So yeah. I was more Meccano and Connect. See, Meccano I never, never really had, but Connect I used to. I used to get them like the big Ferris wheels yeah. and different things, but um, but yeah, no, I do love I do love Lego more. Oh, so, no, yeah. is Connect still a thing? Just have a look. Can you still buy? It's K apostrophe N E X, isn't it? Yeah, because I reckon I've still got. I must. Oh, well, I'm hoping I've still got some of that at home because that's really that's again that it's, it's all the same thing of like using your hands and your mind. Connect was discontinued in 2013. Oh, really? That's what it says, but. Have I you think still it got might yours? still be going, actually. Have you still got some, any of yours? No, no, no. Uh, I wonder if I've still, I'm going to have to ask my mum and dad. No, Connect. So it was discontinued back then, but then it was um, purchased by Basic Fun in 2018. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I wonder if you can still buy it. You can. I'm on their website now. I wonder how expensive. Basic Fun. Yeah, Create okay. some wow with Lego. With Connect, sorry, not Connect. with Lego. I'd like to think it's a bit cheaper than Lego, though. I mean... I like to say, So you can buy it on Amazon. That's where they sell it. How is it? Yeah, okay. Mm, might have to have a look at that. I'm gonna have to have a. Might have to have a, get an extension for like a room for like my Lego and <laughs> connects and because that's the thing with it. And, and that, I think that's the thing. It's it, you build all these things and some of them like Formula One car I got. It's it's big. It's a decent size. And it's just where where do you put it? Yeah. Like See, I, I feel like or... there's some um, glass display cabinets you can get from IKEA. Yeah. I think that'd be the, what you do. But you put it in the glass display cabinet. That's bigger than the actual bit of Lego. And it's like, well, then where do you put that? That's the only thing. I saw this cool thing that somebody had done where they'd put it, the Formula One car, like, on a wall. So it like, it was sort of on the wall, kind of mounted on the wall, but I don't know if I'd trust it to... Yeah, I know what you mean. ...to stay there and not fall off, because, yeah, I'd be gutted. My, um, when I, I used to, the Saturn V rocket, I used to have sort of on the floor displayed, sort of in front of my chimney breast, and I'd had a few, like, friends' children come around and no issue. I'm okay, so um, surprised about that. Yeah, but the only person that did break it was uh, my friend Jazz, who... Had a had a play with it and uh, yeah ended up, <laughs> ended up breaking do? it. I think he was looking at it. Shout out to Jez if you're listening. Yeah, shout out to you, Jez. For... Just text us saying yeah, I listen. <laughs> <laughs> this is this week's test. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say we might we might get. I think I think they do listen, but I think he's quite behind, so uh, we might get delayed for 2025. But, yeah, yeah, <laughs> three years time. But I think he was just having a look at it and then just like a bit built off. But so another friend managed to uh, to fix it, but I wouldn't have had a clue how to fix it because. Yeah, I'm just That's not. Hilarious. Yeah, instructions I can follow, but sort of, yeah, trying to do something like that, I don't think I'd be able to do. But, <laughs> but yeah, so um, if you've got any interesting Lego facts or, well, any personal pictures of Lego things that you've built. Um, any personal pictures of Lego? Yeah, I know, that sounds a bit fingy, doesn't it? I'm not how to word it. <laughs> just, just some Lego bricks on top of their tits or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you, well, no, maybe not send that. Um, but yeah, anything that you've built. Um, feel free to send it as or tag us in on Facebook. Yeah. But, uh, and with that, it's time for us to let go. Uh, you've been saving up for that I one, had. haven't you? I had. You've been waiting for that <laughs> one. <laughs> now you're making my one, my entry, 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 intro look rubbish from that, from that little... I don't video. think that would have made any difference. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, need to, I, need I could have just said bye. <laughs> See, I could have, I could have, like, prepared something... Like, I've been thinking about it for the past week, but then I always remember this is the new format, so... Yeah, exactly. It's, it's not it's what we do, is it? It's best to just wing it and go for it. Yeah, exactly. We'll see what happens. I don't think we're prepared for very many. The first few I used to prepare for, but then yeah. a lot of them, I'd say, we come up with seconds before. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, I think I'd message you. I know you messaged me when we sort of arranged today, and you sort of said, have you got any ideas? And I was like, I was literally looking at my Lego Formula 1 car when you texted me, and I thought, oh, what about Lego? Yeah. Um, but yeah, but no, like I said, we always say any any ideas or anything that you want us to uh, potentially talk about, drop us a message. Yeah, we're open to discuss anything. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, but yeah, yeah, but no, we should. Uh, thanks for listening, and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.